Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Orb. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think, and of course, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. So let's take a look at the Orb. This is from Audio Thing. And what it is, is it's a Formant plugin. If you don't know what a Formant is, it is a type of filter that emulates the human mouth <laughs> so that you can make it sound like it's saying things. Uh, for instance, like this. <laughs> So that is what a formant is. It can it can emulate these kind of uh, you know filters and positions that the human mouth would do, and it like kind of like a talk box on guitar. So that's what it is at its most basic. What you just heard me doing. You see these different um, like vowels here. Uh, so I went here, sorry, it was covered up from my camera. I went here, changed the vowels from male to female, and you can hear it, it sounds different. So you can get some really weird um, effects by doing this, and... You know, va like this kind of vowel sounds and stuff is so popular in uh, like modern dubstep music and everything like that. So it's very relative to what's going on in uh, the music industry. So let's check out some of the presets because that's where it can get kind of crazy. And you can see more about what this plugin can do because there's different LFOs and shifting and motion you can do with this. So let's check some of those out. <laughs> So I'm gonna I loaded up a different sound now so you can you know hear a bit more about how it works on different uh, like now I'm using a lead so you can hear what it does to different sounds. <laughs> That one's kind of funny. You know, it kind of sounds like uh, a, a robot that's slightly um, incapacitated and is maybe trying to communicate with you. <laughs> some of these can be very funny. They can be very scary and strange, and some of them can just be plain fun. <laughs> So, you know, this type of sound is actually very popular, like I said, in modern dubstep EDM type music. 
if you know how to use it properly, it can sound very uh, contemporary, very modern. Uh, if you use it on, you know, some basses or gritty sounds like that. I don't really do that kind of music, so I'm just fiddling around with the presets, but you get the idea of what you can uh, do with it. It's experimental, but it's also uh, pretty useful in the right hands. So that was a quick look at it. It's a pretty unique and fun plugin, very distinctive. So hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys next time.